Bioinformaticians at the University of Manchester have adopted new software applications to help with an international research project that is analysing sleeping sickness in African cattle or trypanosomiasis. The Manchester Bioinformaticians were approached by Professor Carol Goebel, director of the Migrid Consortium, to be the first academic research discipline to try out her team's groundbreaking software that aids the creation and online sharing of research workflows. The disease is in the um, saliva of a fly called the tsetse fly. Um, the fly bites the cow um, and injects the parasite. The parasite basically breeds inside the blood of the cow causing like flu-like symptoms so the cows become really sick and lethargic and they basically just fall asleep and die because they're so overwhelmed with the disease. We're interested in trying to understand what is going on with those cattle that can resist the disease in the hope that that can be bred into the larger more productive cattle because it has huge consequences for human health. To do a project like this requires a large team of people. We've got a very, very strong team in, in Kenya on cattle genetics and cattle health. There is the Roslyn Institute in Edinburgh who are very strong on the genomics of, of farm animal species. We have geneticists from Australia, cattle breeding people from Ireland. And all these various types of biologists are very good at generating, using the new biology, very large amounts of data. The amount of data was overwhelming. We have uh, over a thousand different databases holding different kinds of biological information, uh, hundreds and hundreds of analysis tools, visualization tools, and so on. And the way that people do biology or bioinformatics is they, they stitch them all together. They look into one database, do some processing, get a result, stitch it into another database, and so on. And doing that by hand is incredibly time consuming. But if you can automate it, then you have a much faster mechanism of being able to, to get results because databases change, you run the results again. PhD student Paul Fisher took two different data sets of genetic samples from African cattle. Using the workflow software Taverna, he was able to create biological pathways to determine which genes might be resistant to trypanosomiasis. Before people were using Taverna, they generally did it through web interfaces and standalone programs. So what Taverna did is it enabled people to package those up into reusable components that they could then import into a workflow. And it basically replicated what people were doing through the web in a much more structured and systematic and explicit manner. Once we have those processes captured in a workflow, we can then easily rerun them. When new people come on the project, they can be brought up to speed very quickly on how the analysis works. When we come to publish the work, when we publish the methodology, we can publish the workflow. And so stuff that was done once and then lost value, now you put out there and gains value. Professors Carol Goebel and David Derour saw that Taverna had begun to create an ad hoc online research community and were inspired by this to develop My Experiment, a dedicated virtual research environment now being used by bioinformaticians across the world to share workflows and methodologies. We found that our uh, scientists began to email one another these workflows or they were putting them on websites or on wikis or putting them on Flickr as pictures which was like mad because they're just like photographs of a notebook then. So we thought, why don't we build a sharing environment? The great potential of the, of the workflows is where they're getting shared between different scientists, between different disciplines, and enabling not just accelerated work, but completely new uh, research to occur. The bench science, the stuff that actually generates the day-to-day -day results is done by young people. and you should use what the young people use. Once I have the methodology, I can then save it as a file and upload it to my experiment, share it with colleagues, um, other scientists around the globe, and they can then rate it, tag it, include it in their workflows. And I can also discover what other people have been doing as well. So it enhances my research because I can add their workflows to my, to my own and they can add mine to theirs. So it's, it's changed the way people are doing science, I think. The bioinformatics community um, are really important early adopter community for us because they had a need to share. So you get experts in different parts of the world who are doing things and this is a way of bringing them together. The Taverna and the My Experiment work, it's actually shown us 
there's a really important coupling between the lipid systems and uh, the inflammatory process. And that is beginning to open up some really, really exciting new avenues because it's suddenly beginning to suggest treatment uh, regimes for trypanosomiasis that nobody considered before. Without Taverna and my experiment, we would have been looking where everybody else has looked. And we would not have been looking more widely simply because we had the tools to allow us to do that. And in looking more widely, we spotted things that have been missed. And that's quite, that's exciting. <laughs>